Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is another video of a Olympus OM10 35mm film camera. Um, this is the SLR version of the Olympus OM10. It comes with a manual adapter, which I will show you working in a moment. Along with everything else, I have a few lenses coming with this camera, as well as a camera case. And I will show you step by step through the viewfinder, the meter working, the mirror, everything you really need to know about the OM10 camera and the following lenses and accessories that I have coming with this camera. This camera will be placed on ebay.co.uk username Jake Jim. This is a video to show you the cameras in full working order and um, what you will need and uh, so forth anyway let's get on with the video the mirror is nice and clean no marks in the mirror the mirror bumper is missing and as i will show you later on uh it may need new uh light seals uh film seals so anyway let's first things first levering is all intact no paint loss, no dents to the camera, body by the looks of it. Strap holders are nice and strong. Not loose like some of them. The underneath of the body seems quite good condition. Might be a couple of light scratches. Maybe a bit of paint loss or something here. On the lens barrel mount. Right, this is the battery check light and also the timer light. I will show you the battery check light. There you go. And I will also show you the. Oops, I've already uh, flicked the timer light. You see. go and I'll turn that back off I'll put it all on and at the back of here I will advance the film and I will put it in manual adapter mode so if we go here manual adapter mode I'll spin it back round I'll fire the manual adapter which has already been cocked again and we'll change the setting. And again. And again. And there you go. The setting seems to work um, perfectly. But I'm not going to keep going on with this because then it'll just go longer and longer and longer. And I'll be sitting here for ages. So anyway, um, the viewfinder. Let's see if I can show you the meter working perfectly in the viewfinder. As you can see, the orange light. Uh, it's a bit awkward to show you. You can see the meter working. And if I get a torch in front of the meter, you will see the meter going up and down, hopefully. There we go, look, see? Up and down. So the meter is working fine. Um, the, turn the camera off. The film back open and closes with ease. The, as you will see, the curtains are in lovely condition. This is these bits I'm on about, just in case you don't know. And when you advance the film, like you notice that the curtains don't come apart, as you can see here. And then I'll take a shot. 
with obviously the manual adapter is still on and it closes back in, up into place um, I will take that off the manual adapter and put it back to auto I think um, so yeah oh I almost forgot the film seals mainly changing um, because they are a little bit old but other than that the camera is working fine the lenses I have coming with this camera uh, the first lens is this one this is an Olympus lens cap and or original rear lens cap this is the Olympus Suco MC Auto W uh, 24 mil lens as you can see yourself the optics are crystal clear there's no scratches no fungus and no coat and loss um, the rear is also lovely condition nice and clear the shutter blades are perfect there's no oil residue the lens barrel moves with ease as you can see Shutter blades moves with ease, as you can see. So, yeah, all in all, a nice lens. This will go on the Olympus camera and is also coming in the listing as well. And let's take a shot with this camera so that you can see it working. There you go. And I'll show you the focus if I can. This would be quite awkward. Um, let me see if I can show you on the focus. Right, Just bear with me a minute. While I see, you can see what I mean. I'll focus the lens. It's a little bit dark obviously in here because obviously it's quite awkward holding a tablet and looking through the viewfinder of Olympus camera without scratching your lens on the tablet and uh, scratching the as you can see it's a bit dark like I say but it is clear as you can see and so that's that lens a nice looking lens I'll take the camera back off again put this back on the next lens I have coming with this camera is an Olympus 135mm f3.5 comes with the original case and original front lens cap and rear lens cap this lens again very nice condition no scratches no fungus no coat and loss nice condition really comes with a built-in hood also Nice condition. Ooh. And the rear optics, as you can see, nice and clear. Nice condition lens. No fungus or scratches. I think I've already said that already. Um, no oil residue on the shutter blades. Power movement moves with ease, as you can see. And shutter blades open and close. Uh, like so. This also goes on the Olympus camera. As you can see, very nice. And I have placed the camera on. 
and I think for this one we will do a a timer. Let's do a timer so I can show you it working. Right. Here we go. Ready? And there you go, there you have it. Took it shot. Did take its time a bit, but then I maybe I need to speed up the settings a bit more on this. Setting speeds wheel. So yes. Right. Um turn that back off. Again, I will try and show you through the viewfinder. Um but let's just set it up as Clear as I possibly can. Um, turn it on for a moment. Right, so let's try to see if you can see this through the viewfinder. Oops. Could have lined it up. And there we go. So as you can see, nice and clear. It's quite awkward. There you go. Nice and clear. So well, that's that lens. So again, let's turn that one off and place that lens back on there. So that's the two lenses I've showed you. Coming with this camera. Oh, sorry about this. I've just realised that I. That's that one done. Right. Also, I have a lovely condition camera case. Uh, it come fits on the camera. Nice condition. As you can see, that would be also coming with it. Also, the next lens I have is this one. It comes with a normal lens cap, as you've noticed. Um, that is the lens. It's a 50mm lens. And comes with that cap. I think that's a Minolta cap, but for Olympus or something. Again, this is in sort of nice condition. Um, I'll show you in a moment what I mean. The shutter blades open and close. Lovely. As you can see here. Oops. There. Oh, God. There. And there's no oil residue on the shutter blades. There are no scratches on this, on the lens optics. And the coating is lovely. But. Around here, just the edge of this lens, there is a tiny amount of fungus, which I'll try and show you through this torch, so you can sort of see what I mean. Um, where is it? Just there, at the bottom. Let's see if we can get that a bit better. Yeah, look, they're just there, just a edge fungus. But as far as I know, through the viewfinder of testing this lens on the actual camera itself, sorry about that, um, the uh, lens looks nice and clean in the viewfinder. So as far as I'm aware, I don't think um, this would make any difference to the performance. But we will show you anyway. Um, again, we have this lens on now. Again, I won't put it on the timer. I'll just take a shot. And there we go. You saw that working, I think. I'll try it again. So you can see. Working perfectly. And also, I'll focus it with the background. And once again, we will try and show you. Like I said, it's a bit dark, but... 
So there you go, as you can see, nice and clear. So I can't see that making a problem. So that's with the 50mm lens. Uh, I need to turn this camera off again. And I have one more lens to show you before I take loads of pictures of this camera to place on eBay. And the last lens is this one. Another 50mm lens. An F Suco automobile lens. Blah, blah, blah. I, but unfortunately, this one has got quite a lot of fungus. But again, as I will show you in the viewfinder, it doesn't seem to show up. So the there's no coat and loss um, or anything like that. The bowel movement moves uh, nice and smooth. Shutter blades open and close, lovely. Um, there's no oil residue on the shutter blades. So, they work fine. But as I say, there's no scratches, but there is a lot of fungus. Um, again, I will show you the torch. I'll try not to blow on you this time. Um, let's see. As you can see, if they show me now, ah, oh, there's a bit of quite a lot of fungus inside. I'm not sure if this is just the rear or probably just the front. I'll try and show you from the front. There we go. Quite a lot of fungus. But, like I said, again, I will show you on this camera that the lens is in full working order with the camera and what it's like via the viewfinder. So, again, let's get this set up. There you go. I'm sure you saw that. I'll do it one more time. There you go. And again, I will try and set it up for the background, which looks good to me. Right, and here we go. Like I said, I do apologise for it being a bit dark in my front room. Oh, now we've got to try and find it again now. Oh, sorry about this. Ah, oh, there we go. So, to me, that looks nice and clear. Oh, it's very awkward. So, there you go. There you have it. And that's with the other 50mm lens. So, let me just turn this back off. Um, So, you will be getting all of this lot on the listing. There, oh, not this lens, sorry. All of these lenses, and the one included in the pot itself, and the lens case. There, look, and the lens case on uh, my eBay. Um, add a like or subscribe. Thank you for watching.